Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Steve the Bartender and I'm running into some detail about the Venetian Spritz and its history. Before I go ahead and make four different varieties of Spritz as well as recommend a few different ones that you can check out. Going back a few days ago, I put up a post on my community tab and asked all the Italian bartenders to respond to let me know how they serve their particular spritz and what region they were from. There was a little bit, a bit of back and forth, a little bit of arguments going on between a couple of people, but it's kind of evolved over time. Currently, the most common recipe seems to be served in a wine glass with a slice of orange with three parts Prosecco, two parts Aperol, and one part soda. I'll link to the Aperol Spritz video up here so you can check that out. And I also did a second recipe which worked out really well just with the addition of a little bit of orange juice. But different regions serve it with different garnishes, different, slightly different ratios. But as a rule, that seems to be the most common recipe that everyone knows. So the Spritz originates back from the 1800s when the Austrians thought that the Italian wine was too strong and they added a splash of sparkling water to it. The spritz then evolved into the Venetian spritz, which had the addition of a bitter component being Select, Aperol, Campari, or China, amongst other bitter liqueurs. I've also seen a few recipes and a few cocktail books that have called for a skewered olive in a spritz, but going by the response on the community tab a few days ago, the Italian bartenders and community, that's a definite no-go. So it was around the 1920s that the bitter component started being added to the spritz and the Venetian spritz was born. And originally, according to my research and according to some Italian bartenders, the select bitter was the bitter of choice. It wasn't until later on over time, uh, and I think close towards the 1950s, that Aperol became the bitter of choice. And Campari bought out Aperol back in the early 2000s and they really started heavily marketing the Aperol Spritz as Aperol's signature cocktail. So therefore, to this day, everyone knows a Spritz as an Aperol Spritz. So I assume back in the day when the Spritz first originated, they would serve it in a tumbler, but these days it's very common to serve it in a large wine glass. So this is actually the first time that I'll be trying the Select Aperitif. So let's get straight on to mixing the drink and I'll let you know how it goes. So add a, big, add a big scoop of ice into your wine glass. On the Aperol Spritz video, I had, did have some people complain that you should put the liquid first, the ice first, the orange slice first, Aperol first, whatever order you want to do it, it's still going to work, it's still going to make a good drink. And as soon as you start drinking it, you're going to swell the glass, it's all going to mix the ingredients in at the same time anyway. Uh, so start off by measuring 60 mil, two ounces of select. It has a really beautiful color. Uh, one cool tip that someone did mention though, if you choose to add the ingredients to your wine glass, if you do have a plimsoll line, which this one does, which is just a line that measures 150 mil, if you measure 60 mil of your bitter, then you can simply top up the Prosecco up to that line, which is gonna be the 90 mil, the 90 mil measure equating to 150. So you've got a, a line there ready to go. Then you add your ice, dash of soda, nice and easy to do. So next add 90 ml of Prosecco. Roughly. And a splash of sparkling water. And garnish with that with a piece of orange. So I can compare these easily. I'm just going to be doing the three, two, one ratio for all of these. So I'll go straight ahead and make these. So again, 60 mil, two ounces of bitter. There we go, I'll mix it up each time. Do it in a different order. 90 mil of Prosecco. A little bit more. And a splash of soda. And a slice of orange. And for the Campari Spritz, which I believe is the, probably the second most popular Venetian Spritz after the after the Aperol Spritz.
Now I know I said I was going to do the same ratios, but I'm actually doing a slightly different one for the china because there was only one recipe that I came across and it was slightly different. And I've literally got 30 mil of china left. So, so I'm doing 30 mil, one ounce or one part to 60 mil, two ounce, two parts. and a dash of sparkling water. And for this one, garnishing with a lemon wheel. So they have four different Venetian spritz recipes using Select, Aperol, Campari, and Chino. So first up, we've got the Select bitter, which is made from juniper, um, rhubarb root, and it's got, it's got like 30 botanicals in it. It's got uh, floral characteristics, provides an intensely bitter note for balance. So this is the first time I've tried it. It does have an awesome color, especially when you make it into a spritz. Hmm, that's delicious. And I can understand why this was the original spritz. Uh, it's not overly bitter once you add the Prosecco in there, it kind of sweetens it up a little bit. And that, I just can't get over that color. It looks like rhubarb. And the Aperol Spritz. Probably sweeter, more of a, an orange and grapefruit kind of note to it. Doesn't taste as bitter as this one. Even though I said that wasn't bitter, it is sweetened up, but. That's probably why everyone loves this as well. On a hot summer's day, sweet Aperol. I'm debating which one I prefer. And then the Campari Spritz, which is, I'm anticipating is gonna be a lot more bitter, um, which is hence why it's really popular with Italians. Italians love Amaro and bitter flavors. As a, I'm just making assumptions. As a, as a general rule, they like Amaro. Yeah, that's, that's a lot more bitter. Uh, so if you don't like Campari, stay away from this one, but I can appreciate it, I like it. Uh, I, over the last few years, I have been drinking a lot more Campari. Um, I, I also noticed that there's quite a few people that uh, mentioned that they like to do a half-half measure, so half Aperol, half Campari, which would probably bring the best of both worlds, the, the extreme bitterness from Campari and the sweet components, and more of the citrus tones from Aperol doing a half-half, which I probably should have tried and let you guys know. And then onto the fourth one, we've got the Chinar Spritz. So an artichoke bitter liqueur. As Kat said, looks like the ugly sister of the four. Ooh. I like this. Yeah. It's kind of, um, it's almost cola-like. I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks on me because of the color, but it's got some syrupy cola kind of richness to it. I wouldn't say it's as, as bitter as the others. And Chino only comes in about 16.5%. Yeah, it's almost like cola, sarsaparilla, um, my wife behind the camera was saying it's almost uh, like cold Jaeger, so more of a, it's got like a herbal note. I actually really like the Chinar Spritz. And I'd recommend trying this one. Yeah, I like the little ugly one. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on the four spritz recipes that I've got in front of me? I'd say probably select would be my go-to spritz recipe over the top of the Aperol spritz. Um, controversial. It, oh, controversial. It, it's delicious, it's a little bit sweeter, but I think that is 100% perfect for 
uh, a summer's day. You get some of those um, herbal juniper, subtle bitterness coming through. Um, the Aperol really showcases a lot more citrus in there, a lot of orange and grapefruit. The Campari is a lot more bold, a lot more bitterness, that lingering dryness. Um, I, I can respect that, but I probably wouldn't drink that, to be honest, on a hot summer's day, which is kind of where this, where I think of when I'm consuming a spritz. And lastly, with the Chena spritz, I was very surprised with this. I, I really do enjoy this. Have this with a meal. Um, <laughs> this is delicious. It actually is quite surprising. Um, those herbal notes and the, the cola-esque sugar, like it's, it's worth a try. Um, I highly recommend trying these two if you haven't tried them before. Select is actually really quite inexpensive and same with the China. Uh, they're low ABV drinks and perfect for a hot summer's day. If you are keen to check out a few other recipes, then have a look at the Hugo Spritz, which is up here, uh, which is a sweeter style spritz that uh, is really popular over in Europe and includes elderflower. Otherwise, uh, someone did suggest trying a French style spritz. Ooh, with Sue's gentian liqueur. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.